Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. My name is Sophie. I'm 24 years old. I study global change ecology and I really love climbing. At the same time, I love nature and I really admire it. Being in nature um, kind of creates this feeling of belonging to something much bigger. And it's there that I often realize what is really important to me, what, what really matters. I've been studying in the field of earth science and ecology for four years now. And I try to find a way to, um, to live responsibly uh, so that future generations still can live on our planet. My second heart um, beats for climbing. Yeah, it, it just teaches me so much. Climbing actually is a nature sport, but um, it seems more like a motorsport. as you somehow have to get to the crack. The car is usually the first choice. So that's not very ecologically or um, environmental friendly. My love for nature and my passion for climbing really created this inner conflict. It feels wrong to know about the climate crisis and to actually know what uh, needs to be done, but still not change uh, my own habits. I know, I know it's, it's often easier to complain and to resign than to, to really change. However, I think it's sure that the climate crisis is something that already threatens and destroys so many lives and, and ecosystems, even if we maybe can't always see it. There is enough proof that we emit far too much CO2 and other greenhouse gases and there is the urgent need for change. ambitious rock climber, um, you actually want to reserve all your energy for the hardest moves on your climb. But recently I realized that this is not the approach that um, is good for me and my soul. To, to be faster and better is, is not a value in itself, I think. Of course I'm, I'm not the first climber on a bike, so many people have done it before. It's also clear that it costs a lot of energy to do it, but I think it's so cool to, um, to do all your activities with just your own energy and to do it sustainably. In, in the Frankenjura, however, it's, um, yeah, it's really energy draining to make it to the crack by bike. However, I think it feels, it feels good and makes a climbing trip a complete adventure and also a workout. So I would say experience over outcome. And maybe it even contributes to making climbing less performance based, but again more nature and experience based. Don't worry, I'm not a Buddha yet. Scheiße! Oh, God. My first little climb and bike project was a chicken run um, last year. Let's not call it Red Point, let's call it maybe Eco Point. Um, well, I can tell you with tired legs and a tired body, it doesn't feel much easier. But um, yeah, I think it would be cool if we could focus more on the question uh, how we do things rather than on the mere end result because it's I think it's the how that stays much longer in our mind it's the how we do things that um, helps us to develop and to advance but it feels great to break habits it feels good to slow down nature does not hurry Everything is accomplished. It feels good to slow down.
take the bike every time I get to the crack, but I try to do it more and more often. I think every little change counts and that's what motivates me. Let's slow down. It's good for our souls and it's definitely good for our planet. Nature does not hurry, yet everything